Hey guys, doing? It's Chris Walter. I'm gonna finish up the uh, morning cloaked butterfly. It's two 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 on the clock, and I had to clear four 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 in storage to film this. So I'm gonna try to do a nice job for you guys, and um, this is what I do to help with my therapy. Uh, and I think it's I think it's constructive, so I'm I'm gonna share it with you. had a bronze underneath there. I didn't like the gold, so I wanted to go tighter. I'm going to use the bronze for the Fibonacci to go around the outside. This is going to be black. I had to memorize this uh, butterfly. It was um, some variations to its species, but so I had to go with the closest one to this shape because this is the shape that I keep in the Fibonacci. Oh. I'm just going to pull it just so it gives it like a 3D. That's the wings on a real butterfly. It gives it that extra little kick because you got the little bit of bronze in the back. Okay. I'm using this brush. This I usually use my other brush for getting tight like this, but I want to keep it rolling as I change colors. So I had to get something that was close. And it's pretty nice. I mean, it's nice to handle. For a cheap brush. We got that. We go in that direction. I make sure I keep it uniform because I'm dyslexic, so sometimes I'll I'll make it backwards. Okay. Um, oh, I wrote two spots where it's supposed to actually be. A little bit of gold. Okay, there we go. I hope I'm not in the wet. I'm showing you guys. It was very difficult to um, get that camera even in remotely close position to where you can see it because I got gravel on the floor, uh, on the ground, so it's not. A little bit like that, that's how I did it. It was a kiss. Let's go over here. I got marked over 